How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and in this video we are looking at another Maker Box monthly filament pack. Get your fill on. Ah, uh, welcome back guys. So what I have here is a, another month's edition of MakerBox. So MakerBox is a monthly subscription service for 3D printing filament samples. So you can test out crazy exotic samples without having to buy them in like a one kilo roll and then finding out you don't actually like them, which is pretty cool. And uh, I did a video last month on the MakerBox for that month and a lot of you guys in uh, different countries like here in Australia said that we'd love to do it, but the shipping is just too high. So I did uh, post my concerns to the MakerBox team because yes, I'm in Australia and they are based in the States. And they've put together a international package, which is a bi-monthly package, which saves on shipping. So you get it every two months, but you get double the filament. So getting it every month, which is pretty cool. And it, it makes sense because shipping's expensive. So yeah, let's crack this one open. Or also it might be in a satchel if uh, I, if you're getting it through the bi-monthly thing instead of a box to save again on shipping. So, yeah. Da -da -da. Life's going blunt. So many unboxings. Ah, come on! There we go. Alright. Here we go. Ta -da. And I have no idea what's on here, in here, by the way. Right, so we have... Ah, that's pretty sweet. So we have a 15% off Flexion Extruder. I tested the Flexion Extruder in a previous video and I absolutely loved it. So that's pretty handy and very nice of MakerBox to put that out. And also nice of uh, Ninja Tech and the guys at Flexion to do that. So yeah, definitely a good start. And what else have we got? We have some stickers. Build Attack. We have, oh, this is gonna be a hint of what's inside. Uh, print with protopasta, very nice. Protopasta is very nice filament. And a MakerBox sticker, finally. So yeah, I can stick that on my, my printers or my filament rolls. Cool. Can't have, ever have enough stickers. Alrighty. <laughs> so the, the guys at MakerBox did give me a bit of a heads up on this. This is their Maker coin. Let me see it there. I love this new camera, it focuses beautifully. So I did a video on how I made my Maker's Muse coins and I used them to test their filaments. So they thought it was cool and they thought they'd make their own. So this is done in their Buzzed. So this would be the Buzzed from uh, 3D Fuel. And yeah, they've gone a bit bigger because their logos are a heck of a lot more complicated than my one. But that's awesome. So I think if you get one of these in your box, then you win a prize. So yeah, if, you're getting, if you get one of these in your Maker Box subscription box, let them know and uh, I think prove it to them that you've got one and you get like a big prize. So it's pretty cool. You get you get a, get some samples, but you also get the chance to win something bigger. The Biltac spatula, which I do not own, un unfortunately. I don't have a Biltac spatula, but they look pretty fun to use and pretty handy. So the standard spatula and build tack. So we all know what build tack is. It's a superb 3D printing build surface and it comes in white and black. I've never tried the white versions. I've only ever tried black. But enough about that, let's have a look at what filaments they've sent through. So this month we've got Hollywood, Hollywood. Info, doesn't contain actual wood and that would probably mean it's from Polymaker, that's the one. So this is Polymaker Hollywood. It's designed to look like wood but actually doesn't have real wood in it. And I suppose it's a little bit strange but if you're look, looking for a wood finish, the wood filled PLAs can be tricky to print with. So this might be a good alternative. But it definitely does look a bit like wood. It has that sort of MDF-like look. Print settings, uh, hot end temp of 200 to 235. Pretty high for a, a PLA. But um, I, I'm assuming it's PLA. I have actually no idea what it is. I'm assuming it's a PLA. And speed of 30 to 60 millimeters a second and bed temp not needed because yeah, it'll be a PLA. Oh, I've been wanting some of this. Oh yes. Aromatic coffee. PLA. This would be from our buddies at Protopasta. So this is the fam the famous coffee plastic that uh, that smells like coffee when it's printing. Uh, but it doesn't actually, I think when it dries it doesn't smell like coffee, but I'll, I'll test it. I'll just crack the bag open. No, it only smells like it when it's printing, I think. 
Uh, so print temp of 200 to 230 degrees C. Bed temperature not needed, it is a PLA. This is the new HT PLA, which is high temperature, which means it can be annealed to withstand even higher temperatures than regular PLA, which is pretty darn handy. Next we have Mega Geeks Pet G. Mega Geek stuff. Cool. I, I, I'm loving this. I haven't been able to test all the USA filaments because I'm all the way in Australia. So yeah, we got Mega Geeks Pet G. Uh, and you see there, it's got um, all, the, all the information. Hot end of 240 to 200. What's that? 65 degrees C. That's pretty hot. Uh, and it does need a hot bed as well to print properly. So it's a high strength, low order, fi low order filament made in the USA. Cool. And of course, a lot of these have discount codes, so you can use a discount code for 10% off if you put in the MakerBox code. So if you like it, you can get more filament at a discount. And finally, we have a bog standard PLA from Toner Plastics, which is cool. So this is just a nice... Someone was asking me about primary colours of uh, filaments the other day, so this is a nice uh, yellow by the looks of it. A little sort of a... Uh, Slight greenish tinge, I'd say. So not, it's not a warm yellow, I'd say. It's, I'd say it's more of a cool yellow. And yeah, bed temp of 60 to 70 degrees C. Although I, I would say you don't need a bed temp for PLA. Could be wrong for this one. And hot end temp of 190 to 230 degrees C. So that's what we got in the box. Oh, and a build tax sticker. Can't go wrong with that. Let's print some Maker Coins with this filament and see how it looks. Right, so I've started the printing, and now we have first up the up box. So you can see it here. Printing away, let's turn the light on. Oh, I think it's on, I just can't really see it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. So that's printing our uh, polywood, which is <laughs> that stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, it has this weird matte texture. I don't know really if it's gonna be a better finish than, than you know, the actual wood filled PLAs, but we'll see how we go. Let's go out and see how the, the Wenho and the M150 is going. Right, so we're in the workshop and we have the M150 printing its printing away with the coffee high temperature PLA. So it does have a smell. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. I, it's hard to say. It's not, I wouldn't really say it's coffee to me. It, it is aromatic, but it's not like, mmm, coffee, like a fresh brew or something. It's yeah, I guess it, it is coffee-ish, but maybe with a touch of caramel and maybe something else rich like chocolate. I don't know. But yeah, it seems to be laying down pretty nicely. And the one I wasn't too sure on would be this one. So this is the PETG from Maker Geeks. And I don't have it on the spool because I've run out of spools to test them all at once. Can't see that, I should not have thrown them away. And we're printing currently at, what have we got? So 250 degrees and 80 on the bed, so the bed's actually quite hot. And this is the Flexion. The filament itself has a nice, sort of slightly, slightly softer feel to it than, than I would say an ABS would, or definitely softer than, than PLA. But yeah, it seems to be running pretty nicely, and surprisingly enough, it's printing with no issue. I thought, you know, my previous experiences with PETGs, I thought having lots of trouble trying to dial it in, but it seems to be working pretty well. And that's the craft bot printing uh, or something else which will be you'll be finding out about later all right guys so we're back the next day and I have my results in so all of these filaments actually printed pretty well surprisingly I had no issues dialing settings in and first time was pretty much spot on for all of them so let's go through all of them starting with the polymaker polywood so this is done on the up box at PLA settings tweak to match the, the recommended settings for the polywood and it does look like other wood-filled PLAs, but apparently it has no real wood particles in it. You see it there, it does look like, you know, MDF, but really, is that a look that you like? It's up to you. Personally, it's not a look that I would really go for. And you can see, you can see it's sort of a little bit stringy still. Maybe my retraction settings and temperatures were still a little bit, you know, temperatures were a little bit high. Maybe print speeds were a little bit too high. I'm not sure. The up box did smash this out. It, it printed so quickly, but by the time I got around to filming it, it had already finished. Um, and that was only on the normal speed. So yeah, it did print okay. Maybe not a filament I'd use in future, because it's not really a, a look that I'd go for. But yeah, premium quality filament, which is what I expect from Polymaker in the first place. So next is the coffee PLA. And I did this on the M150, the Malian M150, which is 
like a clone of the Cocoon Create or the Wanhao Duplicator i3 design. It's so confusing these days. And it printed really well. No, no, no issues at all with that. I was really, really pleased with this. It has a quite nice look, kind of a bit like the buzzed filaments. I would say more in line with something that's a little bit more translucent, a little bit shinier. Almost looks like bronze. And yeah, it printed great. No issues, no stringing. Slightly higher temperature than regular PLA. And don't forget you can anneal this in an oven to get a higher temperature resistance and higher strength out of it. So one thing I did note is it doesn't really smell like coffee to me. Maybe, maybe it's sort of coffee-like. Definitely a very nice, interesting look PLA. And next was the PETG from Maker Geek. So I half expected this to fail. I'll be honest, I haven't had great experience with PETG, but this has changed my opinion of it. So I printed this on the Cocoon Create, which is a Wenhao Duplicator i3 version 2 and it was with the Flexion Extruder. So I'll be honest, this is probably pushing the Flexion Extruder up to its upper limits of how hot it can go. Flexion is designed to print Flexion materials and it's fully PTFE lined, which means that this is printed at 250 degrees Celsius and that's probably more than I'd like to print on a regular basis on the Flexion, but I thought I'd give it a shot and it worked really well. Support material pulled away beautifully, which was nice. And something I found interesting is despite it being black, it actually is kind of translucent. I'll try to demonstrate that here. You can kind of see it through the through the material. So it, it is black, but it still sort of has a translucent look. And I'm not sure what's what's causing it. I think the, the base uh, the base pellets for the PETG would be clear because I mean you go know, water bottles, it's clear, clear plastic, and the pigment they've added is what makes it black and opaque, but it's still not as opaque as an ABS or a PLA, which is interesting, I don't know. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it printed beautifully, raft came away nicely, and it is quite tough. And the surface finish is nice as well, so I would definitely love to test out some Maker Geeks PTG in future in a larger project. And finally, you might be wondering what about the Toner Plastics PLA? Well, that's currently printing in a machine on the floor. Let me just show it to you. Here it is. So this is the Cetus. I can't really tell you much more about it under orders from the manufacturer, but this is gonna be a crowdfunded 3D printer very shortly. And it's printing in the Toner Plastics PLA. So you can see here, it's a completely open frame design with linear rails all around it. PLA uh, only machine or whatever that doesn't need a heated bed has this coating on the bed which they won't they won't tell me what it is <laughs> but it seems to work pretty well it wouldn't do anything raftless on it it's a rough coating so it is printing with a raft I can't even show you the slicing software but regardless as you can tell this is a pretty pretty little uh, robust little machine and it's gonna be pretty low cost as well so this is printing nicely and when it finishes, I'll overlay some pictures of the final results into, into the edit because it's printing really well and I'm pretty happy with this machine. So I'd like to tell you more about it and I will as soon as I'm allowed to. So that's it for this month's MakerBox. A big thanks to the MakerBox team for sending out their subscription box for me to unbox and test out the filaments for you guys here on YouTube. And if you're interested in getting a MakerBox subscription service or signing up, you can use the coupon code MAKERSMUSE to get a discount off your first order, which is awesome. So big thanks to the guys there for allowing that. I think my favorite one out of this month's box would probably be hmm, between the Coffee PLA and the, the Maker Geeks PET. I would probably, I'd probably say the PET because it's more functional. And it's the first PET I've used that actually printed really well first go. So it is a higher temperature than even some ABS's print out. And the bed was heated up to 90 degrees Celsius, which is high for a PET. But yeah, it stuck down well and it didn't, uh, didn't weld the raft to it. So yeah, I would say that's my favorite out of this box. But the coffee one does look pretty good. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse and if you want to subscribe so you don't miss any future 3D printing reviews, tips, tricks and further projects, don't forget to hit that button, it helps me out a lot. Look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later, bye.